Hey everyone, Matt Cutler from Block Native here, uh, doing a video to show you how to watch your hot wallet and reduce your transaction anxiety using uh, our Mempool Explorer. So uh, if you're doing transactions on Ethereum right now, you are certainly familiar with the notion of transaction anxiety, where you click submit and then you're waiting for it to confirm gas prices are high, maybe you're on something like Etherscan, pressing refresh. And what we do at Block Native is we monitor the mempool globally for all transactions. And so one of the easiest ways to get started is just watch your own wallet address and you will get uh, events from our global infrastructure anytime any transaction changes state associated with your hot wallet. So the simplest case is you're out there doing transactions, you're wondering what's going on with them. Of course, you're hoping them to be first pending and then confirmed, but maybe they're stuck or dropped or you need to cancel them or replace them. And the reality is the mempool data and mempool itself is quite opaque. And what we do is provide infrastructure and tooling to make it both transparent and easy to work with. And we have a bunch of facilities to make it super simple to watch your own hot wallet. I'm gonna show you how to do that right here. But you can also monitor your hot wallet for things like inbound airdrops. Right now, there's a bunch of tokens happening that are dropping uh, uh, tokens on the network. You want to know as soon as those hit your, your wallet and you want to know so you can um, act on that as appropriate. Uh, you'll get events here by watching your, your hot wallet. Finally, if you're like sub, if you're party to a transaction, someone's sending you some value, you'll get events as well. Um, I use this every time I'm doing transactions on the network. Some of the most experienced um, yield farmers I know who are moving real value around, they rely on this exact same functionality just to put their mind at ease so they know what's going on with their hot wallet and critically to make sure that there wasn't some security breach and other people are conducting unauthorized transactions. Now, to do this, it really couldn't be simpler. You go to explorer.blocknative.com, you can see that right here. And we recently provided this new visual update with these sort of one-click uh, live examples. And so right here, if you just click watch your wallet, um, what pops up is a wallet selector that allows you to select almost any uh, wallet that's out there. This is actually our own library called OnboardJS. It's widely deployed in the ecosystem. If you're building a front-end dApp and don't want to deal with all the complexities of connecting to software and hardware wallets and maintaining those over time, OnboardJS is, is a great option. Here I'm using Firefox and I have my own MetaMask installed, so I'm going to click MetaMask. And what we're going to see is a little pop-up that says log in and authorize your wallet. It fires an event to MetaMask that says I need to grant permission to uh, this underlying DEP, in this case, Mempool Explorer, to get permission to do so. I'm just gonna click Next and Connect. And just like that, my wallet tells me I'm connected. And um, what's happening here is Mempool Explorer is saying, I now have a subscription to a MetaMask wallet with this address, which is my personal hot wallet. Now, by the way, this is specific to the Rinkeby testnet, this example, though this is uh, fully functioned on, on any Ethereum uh, uh, network. So you can do this on mainnet, of course, but on Robston, Gorley, Coven, um, or Rinkeby, or even the XDI sidechain, it all works the same. Uh, for the purposes of this example, we're gonna be on Rinkeby just to show it. So what's happening right now is we're now monitoring the Rinkeby testnet for any transactions involving my hot wallet. So why don't we go ahead and issue one. So I'm just going to copy, copy my address and I'm just going to send myself a little bit of test ETH here. Um, I like to say I'm a Rinkeby whale. So I'm going to hit next. And now what's going to happen, I'm not going to click this quite yet. If I click confirm, a whole sequence of steps is going to fire in short order and our system is going to pick it up in a, in a minute event. And it's pretty interesting here. So when I hit confirm, what happens is my wallet signs this transaction and then this is stock MetaMask. So it will transmit it to Infura. Um, completely independent of our infrastructure. An Infura node will receive that, will inspect that transaction, ensure that it's valid. If it is, it will insert it into its local mempool. That Infura Rinkeby testnet node with my transaction will then broadcast that transaction to its peers on the Rinkeby testnet over the peer-to-peer -peer protocol or also called the gossip protocol. We at Block Native operate global infrastructure, including nodes on the Rinkeby testnet. Our nodes will receive uh, this transaction over the peer-to-peer -peer protocol. We will look up to see is anyone subscribed or trying to find events on that. We'll find this one. We will then enrich the payload. So what you actually get in mempool data is quite sparse. What our platform does is extend that data so it's easier to work with. And we will then present the API event here. And that will happen incredibly quickly. Um, that whole process end-to-end -end generally takes less than a couple hundred milliseconds, sometimes much less than a couple hundred milliseconds. And you can see this live right now. 
So three, two, one, I'm click confirm. And you can see right there, the pending event shows up. And now as soon as the Rinkeby test testnet confirms my transaction, I will get a confirm event here as well. There it is. Now you could leave this running in a browser window and check it or have it the front and center. But obviously you may have transactions happening at any time of day. You may be doing other stuff on your machine. What you can do is you can write out these API events to a webhook using a block native API keys. And this is what I do. I fire a webhook out to Slack. It's super easy to set up. It takes just a few minutes to do. And so anytime my wallet is party to a transaction, I get Slack events on my desktop. I get Slack events on my mobile devices. I even get Slack events on my watch. So I know what's going on all the time. It really puts my mind at ease. Now, if you're interested in learning how to do that, just uh, from here, hit Reset Explorer or open a new Explorer window and click on this video right here, Composability via Webhooks, and it will walk you through how to do that. So there's a really quick example of how to watch your own hot wallet using Mempool Explorer and using this one-click uh, connect to wallet. I, I really, anyone who's getting into the space, whether you're a newbie or someone who's super experienced, if you're doing transactions with a hot wallet, um, whether that be a, a hardware wallet or a software wallet, I strongly encourage you to set this up. You will not regret it. it takes a few minutes. It's interesting. And then anytime you're out there uh, conducting transactions, yield farming, liquidity mining, being an LP, whatever it is, you will know what's going on with your wallet and you will, uh, your mind will be at ease and you'll sleep better. So uh, Matt Cutler from Block Native, thanks so much for watching. If you have questions, by all means, uh, join our Discord server. You can do that right here. We have support forms, feature requests, etc. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks.